Hi guys, this is Sadeh from Robin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to take a screenshot in any app that does not allow it by default. These include numerous banking apps and payment app and along the same line there are a few other apps which requires a payment gateway and all, in all these apps, they usually block the ability to take a screenshot but there exists a nifty workaround using which you could easily bypass that limitation and take as many screenshot as you want. So in this video, I'll show you how to get the job done. Do note that I've already made a video on the same, but that video will only work for Android 13. For Android 14 and 15, there is a new module and a new method as well. So I'll show you a new, in this video, we will be covering all the Android variants from Android 8 till Android 15 and even Android 16 should work, always in a testing phase. So the old video will only work till Android 13, but the video which I am now recording will work till Android 15 as well. So that is why I made this video. So with that in mind, please take a backup of all the data on your phone. And let's get started. As you might be aware, you might be able to take a screenshot via the Google Assistant or even the SCRCPY app, but they hardly works when it comes to banking and payment app. If you want, you may give it a try. But in my case, the Assistant was the worst among all the three. And the SCRCPY app only worked in a few banking and payment app. The only benefit of both of these methods is that they do not require root. But the method which we are about to discuss using the LSPOS framework that requires root. But the best part is it works across all the phones, across all the apps as well. And there is no other caveat as such, apart from the obvious fact that it requires a rooted phone. So go to my guide and obtain root on your phone. You may root your phone via the boot image or the init boot. If your phone came with Android 12 or older version, you have to use the boot IMG. On the other hand, if it came with Android 13 or higher version, you have to use the init boot IMG file. So refer to my guide and obtain root on your phone. In my case, I've already obtained the root as you could see. This is the magic app and it's now rooted. Once you have obtained root, now comes the second most important part. You will now have to install the LSPOS framework onto your phone till Android 13 or even the 14, I guess. You could use the official LSPOS, but beginning with Android 15, the official LSPOS will not work and you have to use a fork or a mod version of the LSPOS framework. This is because the official LSPOS has not been archived. Let me show you that as well. So as you could see, this version is now archived and no longer working. The last release was on 2022. So this will not work on Android 14 or 15. So let's skip that build and then let me just go back and show you once again LS Post. This is the official variant. And over here, the release section, the last release as you could see was the version 192 and it was released in October 2023. And this will work till Android 14, but will not work with Android 15 and higher version. So if you are using Android 14 or older, you may go to the official link and get hold of the official LS post. Just make sure to download the Zygis version and not the Rero version. So download the Zygis re release from here for Android 14 or older version. But if you are on Android 15 or higher version, then you have to use the LS post fork. Among all the mods, the one from Jing Matrix is the best one. So we are using the one from Jing Matrix. Again, go there, go to the release section and download the latest one from here. As you could see, is Android 15 supported as well. So get hold of the LSPOS Digest build from here. Once you have got the LSPOS module on your phone, we will now flash it as well. But before that, you have to also extract the LSPOS dev file. Let me show you that once again. Okay, I might already be having the file. So just a second. For instance, this is the LSPOS framework over here. This is the zip file. So extract the zip file. Inside that, you will get a file name manager.apk. This is the LSPOS APK file. We also need this file as well. So make sure to extract the apk file as well and then you will have both the zip file as well as the apk file. So now I have both the files onto my phone. So let me now flash the module onto my phone as well. In this regard, your first course of action is to enable Zygis on your phone. So launch the Magisk app, tap on the settings icon, go to Mag Zygis and enable the toggle next to it. After that, go to module, select install from storage. Now choose the LS Post framework and tap on OK. And now the module has been flashed. Once that is done, go back and now let's install the APK as well. You may also install, extract the APK from your phone as well. If you don't have a PC, you may simply use a file manager app and then extract it directly as well. For example, this is the zip file. Let me show you the LS post. Go to the zip file and install the APK file from here as well. You may take either of the two approaches. So let's install the app and the uh, installation is now complete. You will now have to restart your phone on an, and only then Launch the LSPOS app. So first do a restart. So let me do a reboot from Magisk. 
सो फर्स्ट यू आपको इनेबल डाइजेस्ट अंडर मैजेस्ट देन फ्लैश एल एस पोस्ट मॉड्यूल द जिप फाइल एंड देन सॉल दी एल एस पोस्ट एबीके वंस दैट इज डन यू विल नॉट हैव टू डू अ रीस्टार्ट व्हिच इज कंपलसरी आफ्टर व्हिच द डाइजेस्ट विल बी इनेबल्ड एंड द एल एस पोस्ट विल देन बी अप एंड रनिंग एज़ वेल एंड वंस यू हैव चेक मार्क बोथ द रिक्वायरमेंट वी कुड नॉट प्रोसीड अहेड एंड गेट द जॉब डन सो इन दिस रिगार्ड इफ यू आर टिल एंड्रॉइड 13 you may use the following module as you could see let me show you the module of this is the module till android 13 i guess the normal disable flag secure will work but for android 14 and 15 you have to use the enable screenshot module both are from the same developer as you could see the io.github ls post disable flag secure this is the name and in case of android 14 and 15 as well it's the same so the developer are same it's also formally known as disable flag secure so that it's the same and it's the only difference is that it will also work with android 14 and android 15 as well which is quite great to see so currently i am on android 15 so let me now flash the module okay before that i forgot to show you the most important part i am using a banking app and currently i cannot take a screenshot if i try to take it let me show you you are seeing i am getting a blank or rather a black screen so it's of no use and this is the case across all the banking and payment app this app is just for the sake of reference But that said, let's now launch the LS Post app onto my phone, which is here. You will get a prompt. Tap on OK and make sure that the, it's activated. And now go to the download section, hit the search icon, and make a search for the screenshot. And if you are on Android 13 or older version, you may use the disable flag secure. But if you are on Android 14 or 15, then you have to use the enable screenshot. So go here, go to release section. then tap on asset and choose the app release apk in some cases the download will get complete but you will not get any prompt over here that is completely normal and nothing to worry about give it a few seconds and if you are not getting any prompt simply minimize it and go to the file manager app of your choice and go to the download section and as you could see i already have got the apk it has been downloaded so enable it and tap on install and the module will not be installed and you will get a prompt that export module is not activated tap on it Moreover, if you are not getting any prompt, let's suppose you haven't got any prompt, then manually launch the LS Post app onto your phone, and go to the module section, select the module, and enable the toggle next to it. Do note that you will only have to check mark the system framework and the system UI. In other words, only enable those apps which are recommended in orange color, as you could see. Do not check mark the banking and payment app. It's a highly no. Please do not check mark any banking and payment app. Only check mark the recommended apps, which in most cases should be. check mark by default as well but if it is not the case then only enable the recommended apps and do not enable any of the banking and payment app and enable the module as well once that is done you will not have to restart your phone once again so let me do a restart so from magisk or you may also use the power button but i don't know why google has taken the step to change the power button default function to google assistant because the power menu should by default enable the power menu but for some reason which i completely is beyond my comprehension it has made the assistant the default key although you could you could change it easily but it makes no sense whatsoever to change the power key to the google assistant but still we don't have much control over this although you can change that option but that does not make an iota of a sense anyways coming back to the topic we have now flashed the module let's verify the same go to the ls post app modules and enable screenshot as you could see it's not enabled and up and running once that is done you may now check out the result as well so let me launch the same banking and payment app which is the paytm upi app and now let me show you if i try to take a screenshot you could see it's now taken and you could now save it wherever you want and the screenshot is now saved you may take as many screenshot as you want and it will not cause any issue whatsoever you could take a screenshot inside here as well likewise it will not work inside all the banking and payment app just keep a couple of things in mind first of you have to enable zidisk and only then flash the module after flashing the module you have to install the apk file then do a restart and after a restart you could then install the module from here from the ls post app and there are two apps for the screenshot as i have told you earlier as well the first app is regarding the android 13 or older build which is the disable flag secure and the next one is for the android 14 and higher build so choose the one which corresponds to your requ requirement Although the Android 14 and higher should also work with the older Android build as well, so flash the module and then enable the module and only check mark the system framework and the system UI. 
do not enable any of the banking and payment app once that is done do a restart and after a restart you could then easily take a screenshot in any banking and payment app of your choice so guys on that note we round out this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching